And speaking of high-tech toys, an online petition on the White House website has demanded for the U.S. government to build, get this, a Death Star. You know, like the one from the George Lucas Star Wars films? Yep. They want Darth Vader's technology and they want the Obama administration to secure the resources to create it by 2016. The petition says, quote, by focusing our defense resources into a space superiority platform and weapon systems such as a Death Star, the government can spur job creation in the fields of construction, engineering, space exploration, and more, and strengthen our national defense. Now, 20, 27,838 people have already signed the petition. And as is pre precedent with all petitions that get more than 25,000 signatures, President Obama could decide to head over to the dark side and respond to the petition after all. One technical point to point out, to point out and not to geek out on you, but according to CNET News reporter Eric Mack, the moon-sized weapon would require just over a quadrillion tons of steel for construction, meaning that it would take more than 800 thousand years to produce enough steel to build it according to current rates. But take a look at this. Earlier this week we told you about a super secret X-37B, an unmanned spacecraft launched by the U.S. military. We still don't know much about the purpose of the launch or the spacecraft's mission. What we do know is that this unmanned spacecraft is nothing new. This kind of spacecraft has existed since the Cold War when the U.S. Navy developed it and uh, as a potential uh, career f uh, carrier for nuclear weapons. So it may not come from a Death Star, but it looks like movie magic um, might not be in a galaxy far, far away after all.